Howdy folks, welcome back to Cattle and Crops. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. I know, right? I know I ended the series, uh, but then like two days later they came out with uh, version 0 0.5. So here we are on the new update. This uh, They called this the controller update. It was mostly around UI and controls. Uh, but they did upgrade to physx.4.0, uh, I think, is the new physx version. I haven't noticed too much difference there, but I've only played it a little bit. Um, but uh, what's, what's awesome is they fixed a bunch of crashes. So I actually ended up uh, redoing the harvest of field 3 with the AI. And it worked just fine, no crashes at all. And I only had to intervene once when the uh, harvester got hung up on one of the helpers. Other than that, uh, they did the whole field three and took it over, sold it, and made some money. So, we're going to soldier on with the farm. It's time to harvest my fields. So, I'm going to get a bunch of jobs set up uh, for tomorrow. Because it, it still won't let you schedule the same day with your... Hired hand, if they already have a task for that day, it still seems a little buggy. So I'm going to get the tasks set up. Uh, it's afternoon here. Still afternoon on the 15th. I'm pretty sure that's the same day where we left off. So I'm going to get some tasks set up for tomorrow, and then we'll uh, hit it about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, it's just before 10 a.m. the next day. Uh... So Dagobert should be hopping in the tractor there. Around 10, I was going to show you, do we have, we don't have the radio menu when we're on foot. So let's hop in the combine. Show you the, some of the new menus. Uh, you'll notice over on the right hand side, the controls are no longer there. So we hop in the combine here. Uh, so there used to be a big window with controls. That's now off by default. Uh, they said you can turn that on in the options, but uh, for me, I'm glad it's gone. It was always in the way. So to, now to access, we have a radial menu, and then we use Q and E to go back and forth between the various things. So yeah, it's kind of, you know, console-esque, but it works. And then you can assign these to quick slots. So we want to say turn on and off to be on four. Let's do, uh, let's do the combine. I think that'll turn the header on as well. So we hit F and then a number. So let's just do five. There you go. Now that one's on five. So that's how you can go through and uh, you can click on stuff to activate it. So that opened the door. There goes Dagobert. He's going to head over. We're just doing field 14 right here at the farm. So let's get the door closed. So that's how that works now. Also, if uh, the, all the F keys no longer bring up menus, just F1 brings up the menus. And then you click between them. Uh, it, it's just a little cleaner. Some of the fonts are cleaned up. Stuff like that. So, nice to see. Um... So we've got that attached. It wants us to go over to 14. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to turn that off. Get this started up. Now you probably noticed, let me pop outside. This is a, uh, it's a New Holland Combine. This is a mod, of course. Uh, it's the TC4.90. I've used this uh, quite a bit in Farming Simulator, back in Farming, farming Simulator 17. Uh, use this, uh, I think it was on New Creek. Uh, New Creek. <laughs> no Creek Farms. But, uh, we're going to try that out and see how that goes. So, let's get the parking brake off. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really have hot spots in the cab, except for the doors. Uh, and the mirrors don't work. But, you know, it's nice to have mods. So about the only thing I've noticed with the new PhysX version, uh, stuff feels a little weightier, if that makes sense. It seems to have a better feeling of mass. It was already pretty good, but it just seems like there's 
more of a feeling of driving a big heavy machine. All right, so let's get this thing turned on, and we do that. Well, first of all, let's open the reel up a bit. It is just B, so we don't really need to to map the key. Uh, you can use this when the HUD is off, so that's nice. If I hit... Yeah, we can just close that out. Let me come up here, and it looks like if we click the little X. There we go. So 1 and 2 are auto-assigned. Can't do anything with those. Um, I've not used this combine before, so let's see how it works out. Actually, do I need to open up the top? Raise lower feeder housing. No, that's the header. We do have it unfold. Okay, is that on the menu and I just missed it? Oh, it's this. Okay, that's the tank hatch. Got it. So we do need to do that. Okay. Why are you turned off now? Hello? <laughs> uh, it won't let me turn that on now that it opened the hatch? What's going on here? Well, this is how we figure out stuff. Oh, I see. So pushing X unfolds both. Got it. But if you do it on here, you have to do each one. So that's the hatch, and that's the spreader. Got it. That's why it wouldn't turn on. Now it will turn on. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not sure what my cruise is set to, and I'm not. It doesn't look like the numbers work on the posts here. Yeah, we're sliding. So this mod may not actually work that great. The header's dragging on the ground. All right, let's see if we can get this guy figured out. Let's raise it up a bit. this. There we go. We can use the mouse controls. So that's down. We lower it that way. I guess it's... Oh, no, there it goes. It fell down more. I'm going to raise that just a bit. There we go. Use the first goose patrol notch, which should be all right. Well, maybe we'll just do this from the outside view for a bit. Let's make sure it's all going to work. Oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not swathing the straw. I kind of wanted to bail some of this. Uh, doink. There we go. Might want to get a baler and bail up some of this to sell. I had no luck selling the loose straw, uh, but I'm pretty sure bales will work. But I haven't actually tested that in the new version to see if you can sell loose straw now, and it's something we should test. 
All right, we're kind of sliding downhill a bit. So I think I'll take a pass around the outside. One nice thing about these smaller mod combines is I can just buy them outright. Which, yeah, I could just, you know, rent them every year. But I kind of like owning my own stuff. Alright, this will be the trick. Can we get up the hill? Some lights turned on. How full are we? We're, uh, we're only 33% full, so... Dagobert's still hanging out up there at the top of the hill, I believe. So, this is a pretty nice little combine. Uh, I hope they finish it out. Yeah, I see Dagobert up there at the top of the hill. So, we're struggling a bit up the hill. But we're still going. Keep having to correct to the right as we slide around in the mud a little bit. This mod's got a nice sound to it. So, knock on wood, I've not had any crashes yet. Everything seems to be working normally. We've still got uh, 74 bowls. I sold one just to test it through the menu. Because I had an option to sell it to the trader. It didn't look like there was any extra cost, which was weird. I need to experiment around with that a little bit more. Alright, so we went around once. How full did that get us? 57%. Alright. So he should jump in here in a little bit. Are we stuck? No, nope. we got a little bit stuck. We're getting there. Cat has made an appearance. <laughs> That's actually the real cat, if you can hear that. It's not the in-game cat. What do you want, cat? Where are you? Oh, there's Dagobert. Yeah. Oh, we're getting, uh, getting out of the crop here. Did he empty me? Yeah, he emptied me out. There we go. Good job, Dagobert. Uh-oh. Raise the header up just a bit more. Not a little too much. There's quite a bit of delay on it. kind of tweak it. I hope they fix the ground at some point. It's nice having the deformable terrain, but it's like it's always muddy and slippery and it's a little overdone. I want to go ahead and take two rows off here. There we go. I didn't look to see if I drop this back down with V. Does it go back to where I had it set, or does it go all the way down? I have a feeling since we were dragging over there that it goes all the way back down. Yeah, it does. All right. Let's raise that up a bit. Here we go. That's why we were dragging. 
I thought maybe it would go back to where you had it set. But it doesn't. I like how there's little variations in the crop where there was deep tracks and stuff like that. It's a really nice touch. It's not a perfect crop. It picks up on, you know, where you've torn up the field and whatnot. So let's get an outside view of this beautiful machine. A screenshot or two. Nice little mod, not 100% finished, like I said, but really awesome to have choices and the modders uh, are just going to town on Calvin crops there's a lovely little massy tractor and front loader uh oh that I need to get tested out see how the back wheels are spinning it's strange even the in game harvesters do that it's like they drive with the back wheels so, I don't know if that's just an, a game engine thing. I keep forgetting this isn't farming simulator, so you actually have to pay attention when you're on a hill. Alright, ease on forward. <laughs> da -da -da. There we go. Take a couple bites off the top here as well. Then we'll just run back and forth. A little bit of dust coming out of the grain tank there. That's a nice touch. It did seem like when I was doing Field 3, I had, had all, all AI doing Field 3. I had an AI in the Jaguar. Uh, with the forage head on it and then I had two AI and tractors with trailers to offload and it did seem better it seemed like they were maybe a little smarter all right let's try to lower this by hand come on lower down you're not gonna lower down Hello? <laughs> Not going to lower down, huh? Raise up. Well, I think it I think it broke. What's going on here? It's telling it to lower, but it's not lowering. Well, there it goes. All right, just weirdness. It happens. It raised up just a hair. Not a little too much. All right, let's go with that. How full was I? Just forty percent. So I don't want him driving through my crop so we may come back up to the other side so our pipe is always on the outside one thing I haven't tested oh, we're sliding again is to see if the pipes are still all automatic yeah they are darn it I wish there was an option to not do that What key is that? It's R for rotate. Is it that turned off? Uh, let's just go take a look through the settings. So they're a little bit different layout. Uh, this is all pretty much the same, the graphics. We've got that all on Ultra. Get, uh, usually get around 30 FPS, sometimes up to up towards 40 or 50. 
Uh, what's interesting is the frame rate's a little lower, like if I turn on the frame rate counter, but it seems smoother. So I don't know. Uh, Audius, pretty much the same. Radio, don't use. Uh, gameplay has changed a little bit. You can now set uh, your units. Does it's not based on language anymore, and a lot of the options have disappeared. They're automatic now, or they're elsewhere. Uh, there's a new difficulty tab. This is all different, so you can change physics, collision, and then some of those gameplay options are moved over here. Gearbox, you can no longer switch between automatic and manual with a key. It's set right here on the options. Um, the only downside to this is I have seen it where if you use the autopilot and you turn off the autopilot, it switches to manual gearbox mode and then you, you can't switch it unless you come in here, change it and change it back. Uh, that stuff's all here under difficulty and then controls. A little bit different. You've got some UI controls and whatnot. If I switch that to vehicles, it's all just going to be key binds. I don't see anything about automatic pipe out or anything like that. So I don't think that's an option to turn that off now, which is a shame. Hopefully we'll get that someday. I don't want it to automatically do that. I don't want it to automatically put the pipe out. I don't want it to automatically unload. I want to do that myself. <laughs> let's get uh, let's get a few more lights on here. Oop. Now I can lower it with the hydraulics. Slip sliding all over the place again. Raise that up just a bit. Right, I'm going to stick my pipe out. We'll see if Dagobert shows up. Mirrors, so we're gonna look outside. Yeah, here he comes. Right, let's just hang out here. Seems to empty fairly fast. Might be a little too fast. What's nice about that, if you haven't seen this before, if you happen to be jumping in here in the middle of the series or whatever, to get this to work, I just set up a task that said harvest. Let me go show here. I just set up this task. I assigned myself to the combine. I assigned Dagobert to the tractor and trailer, and I said, we're going to harvest field 14. And it just figures it all out. Pretty cool stuff. Not perfect, for sure, but it's a pretty powerful system. And he'll just hang out, and he'll come empty us, I think, once it hits 60 or 70%. Oh, we're throwing stuff everywhere. <laughs> Particle effect might be a little overdone on the header. I don't suppose that has any bearing on anything. Just aesthetics would be my guess. And change the reel.
had one comment on the last video. Just said, too short. <laughs> like, well, I was closing out the series because it was buggy and I was frustrated because it kept crashing and I couldn't get any recording done. So we're not going short this episode. We're going to harvest this whole field. Be uh, well up over the half hour mark, I think. So if you're out there, Mr. Too Short, I don't remember the name for on the comment, but uh, enjoy. Full-length episode. All right, we're going to throw you down, and then we're going to bring you back up just a hair. There we go. I kind of like the fact that you have to adjust the header. I mean, I don't know how... Maybe modern combines have sensors and it just will ride a certain height above the ground. I don't know how that works. You run a combine IRL? Let me know in the comments. I should ask my cousin. He uses combine. I'm not sure how modern it is. A lot of my family are just small farmers. They don't have all this big fancy equipment with GPS and auto steer and all that stuff. We're not, yeah, we're not anywhere close to full, but when I get over here, I'm going to put my pipe out. I'm going to see if he comes over. I'm just curious. Let's put our pipe out. And I don't have mirrors, so let's hop outside. Oh, I thought I put my pipe out. There we go. Oh, I'd probably put it out because I got close to him. And I hit R and it put it back in. Yeah, I don't... He's not coming and I don't have a button to say come hither. So that would be a nice option. Just for planning. On bigger fields especially. This field, it doesn't matter too much. Alright, let's get you on. Get you dropped down. Come on. There you go. Maybe you got to move before it realizes it should move. But uh, I'm liking this uh, little New Holland. Working out pretty well. Had some mirrors and, uh, well, just mirrors would be nice, but those are kind of essential. But having some numbers on the center post here and whatnot, and but having in cab buttons work would be a nice to have. But overall, great looking mod. And it works. Bonus. I think it works better than the bison did. The bison was a little, little troublesome. Part of the bison's problem is it drives with those little tiny, tiny rear wheels. So it has a lot of traction issues. No mirrors. We gotta just drive by feel. I think that's about right. Just got to kind of judge it by how it's riding on above the ground. A little too high up on the reel. There we go. Just almost got it. Not quite.
might have missed a little bit back there, but we got most of this swath here. Just a little bit left over here. There we are. That field is done. I'm not sure what Dagobert's going to do. Let's get our lights turned off. Parking brake on. I mean, we're done with the field. I guess he's just going to sit there. Let's take a look in the menu. Tasks. It says in progress. I don't know... I don't know that it will finish since I'm doing the driving. I know if the AI is doing it, it will finish. So I'm just going to delete that one. Delete. There we go. Still got a little animation going on here for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> Early access. And it's a mod. It's in the transport position. That you can close the tank even with product in there. Crazy, huh? All right, let's go hop in the tractor. We'll just uh, we'll go dump this ourselves. Maybe Dagobert got hung up on the fence. I'm not sure. I think he was just waiting. Flying through the bushes here. And let's see if we back up. Come around. That ought to work. Go. I'm liking this uh, Deutsche Fart tractor. It's pretty nice. Munchkin. What's up, Munchkin? Recording. Munchkin was asking for TV time. She did a good job cleaning up her room and making her bed, so. <laughs> Alright, that's empty in there. Uh, let's see, let's get the parking brake. This is an in game tractor, so it's got the, the bells and whistles. I think, wasn't there a way to. Oh, the trailer has a handbrake? That's interesting. Did not know that. I thought this had a, a way to put the ladder down. Maybe not from outside. I wonder if I can pull the trailer now that the handbrake's on. Interesting. Time to test. Alright, it's done. See, I put the pipe back in. That's yeah, I don't like that. Well, we'll take the... I see the handbrake. What turn? That's parking brake off on the tractor. It didn't do anything with the trailer. Chocks are out on the trailer, and it is pulling super easy. So let's go over to trailer.
That was just a glitch, I think. Ah, I didn't realize this could tip to the side. Very nice. And the, the brake on the trailer doesn't appear to do anything yet. Unless it was... Oh, ah, there we go. Unless it was already on. I'm trying to see what it's doing here. Is that... Oh, what's crouch? I don't think I have crouch bound. Let's see. I think we had a crouch. So if we go to on foot... It's still a bug. You click anywhere, it scrolls to the top. Uh, run, jump, attract, their exit. Oh, I think they got rid of it. It used to have like a down. Yeah, that's we don't have it anymore. All right, no crouching. Yeah, that looks like that would be off because when you go the other way, it's pulling on the cable. So that's that's a neat feature, but it doesn't look like it actually does anything at this point. I did want to look. If we go to the radio menus. No, it doesn't have a ladder. Some of the trailers have a ladder. Alright. Well, let's go dump this out, and then we'll call that an episode. Then uh, the barn doors as well are automatic. I'm really hoping that all becomes an option to do manually. The way I like to play would be, you know, all manual. All right, so we'll make sure we're in here good. And we are doing unloading. It wants to put it in number one. Is that where we have wheat? Let's take a look at tanks. Yeah, we do have wheat in number one. All right, cool. Just making sure it was doing the right thing, and it is. Uh, so we can pick like which tank to put it in. We can put all or part of it in there. It's going to do all of it. So we got uh, 10,000 whatever. So I'm not sure what the units are in. its leaders. Bring the main menu up. Yeah, I'm in... No, I'm in dollars and something. What did the tank have on it? it doesn't say. It's... 23,000 somethings. <laughs> uh, does it tell me over here? I have reputation and everything. It doesn't really tell me what my units are. Um, I have personally sown almost 7.6 acres. Cultivated almost 43 acres. It has different... Uh, I think that's spelled wrong. It has different stats for your uh, helpers versus you. That's cool. I've walked 47,000 feet, <laughs> driven a million and a half feet. It's kind of cool. Uh, I can have up to 10 employees now. Wow. I could basically just be a manager and have my employees do everything. It's kind of neat. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. We've gone on long enough. And uh, I'll get the rest of these fields harvested. And I'm going to look into a baler. I think the only baler... I'm not sure if there's a mod balers out. I might take a look. We may end up leasing a baler uh, to get that straw bailed up, but let's move on. Go uh, get ready to do the next field. So thanks for hanging out as always. Good to be back on Callan Crops. No crashes, knock on wood. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you later.